Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological time, and that is especially true for you. In fact, I would say with a month like this, it is you that is the star of the zodiac in important ways. That is because as we begin the month, we are still in a period between eclipses. The extended eclipse season that began early last month will be carried forward until we get to the lunar eclipse in your sign right around the 5th of July. This lunar eclipse will be speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus, adding fresh energy and luck, sheer luck, and leaps into a more fortunate future are part of this time. Now, this lunar eclipse in your sign is important for a few reasons. One is that ever since 2018, you've had eclipses in your sign and in your opposite sign. And so this is the final of that series. And you won't have eclipses again in your sign for a few years now, well into this decade. But by that time, it will be a whole other placement and a whole other energy because this time around it was the south node in your sign the closure element was more powerful next time it'll be the north node in your sign that'll bring new beginnings karmic beginnings that much more but you've already been aligning with them over the course of the last year and a half to two years but now with this very fortunate lunar eclipse you're able to bring that larger cycle to a close in a remarkable way. It is Uranus that is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with luck, that has to do with fortunate turns going from rags to riches. While that blessing is still going to be there well into the middle of the decade, it is now as Uranus speaks to this lunar eclipse in your sign that the sense of bright new beginnings and possibilities is wrapped up in karmic closure. That is part of what lunar events like a lunar eclipse represent. And it is very near and dear to you. It is you being redefined in important ways. You are closing karmic ties. You are ending karmic chapters. But these are rooted in your identity, your understanding of who you are, what matters to you most, and what matters to you first is going through a shift now. And whether it is some part of your identity that you are leaving behind so that you can embrace something new, more wonderful, more expansive, more joyous, or whether it is that that very thing that resonates with your heart is part of what is opening up opportunity for you that means so much to you, these are the kinds of possibilities that can arrive for you now. You did have late last month a solar eclipse in your opposite sign. But in some ways, that's only the beginning. It has been these meetings with other people that are part of informing you, getting you to some truth about yourself, helping you to see yourself differently than you did before. But it is as we navigate forward into this month, right around the 20th is when we are going to have a rare second new moon in your opposite sign. The last one was a solar eclipse, which is a new moon, just a very powerful new moon. This new moon is powerful for its own reasons. Whereas the solar eclipse happened at the very beginning of its sign with a Mercury retrograde, well, that suggests truly just the spark, just the beginning, but a need to figure out some details. But by the time we get to the second new moon, well, the 20th of this month, Mercury will be direct by that point. And this new moon is happening towards the end of its sign and opposite Saturn in your sign with precision. That to me says that in key ways you are seeing things realistically. It isn't about just the beginning or the possibility or what you hope, but rather you're able to find balance. You're able to find compromise. You're understanding what's worth compromising and what isn't, especially in alliance with another person. Now, many Capricorns out there are going to experience this energy in the context of uh, business partnerships, professional alliances. There may be a sense of a new beginning on that front, a sense of a fresh start. But it is that your eyes are open at this point. You are understanding what works and what doesn't and 
what is a good idea and where it is that it's a good idea to hold back. But of course, many Capricorns out there are going to experience this energy in the context of romantic love. And this is a powerful time. New chapters that are grounded and a sense of seeing things in a more balanced perspective and being willing to compromise is part of what can ensure a long-term future. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, remember as we start this month, Mercury is still retrograde, okay? And so loves from the past have a way of showing up when Mercury is retrograde in your opposite sign. At the same time though, regardless of what is showing up early in the month and all the hope and all the flirtation and all the desire, it is by the time we get to that new moon around the 20th that you are able to see things uh, in a much more balanced way in a much more measured way. You're able to understand and see with the fullness of time why what didn't work was the way it was and to understand more fully where it is that you're wanting the new beginning, whether it's with this person or someone new. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that the last uh, important lunar event taking place in your opposite sign last month there was a lot of hope with that. There was a real sense of being at the very beginning. But now there's a sense of making a choice, making a decision with your eyes open and from a place of maturity within. And either this is going to be one of those make or break moments where you realize you truly want to do the work to be committed to this person or not, and you decide to go in a different direction, there may very well be other options available to you in the context of love. And for those of you in an established bond, this new moon this month will be that much more important. You are seeing things from a place of maturity. You're able to be responsible. And ultimately, it is by finding compromise that you're able to solidify the bond, feel a sense of a fresh chapter, but more rooted in a spirit of commitment. There may be something that needs to be looked at honestly, and it may not necessarily be easy. Now, for some of you, if you have known for a while that there are mixed feelings for you in the context of your committed relationship, this could be a turning point moment, a make or break type of thing. For some, this is going to be a sense of seeing things realistically and honestly and coming to a new and balanced understanding. But for others, this is going to be the moment where you're more deeply honest with yourself as to whether or not this truly is going to work for you. And if not, you'll be willing to go your own way. But I think that is a much more rare circumstance. A much more likely circumstance is that this represents a depth of commitment at this time. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I love that lunar eclipse in your sign. It is exciting, it is awesome, it is filled with promise and potential, and it is an energy that is saying you are aligning with something more. Your heart is growing and expanding, and as part of that, you may very well find yourself accessing easy luck. Use this energy well, let it redefine you in the most positive sense, because it is at a moment like this that it may feel as if a window opens, whether it is in your soul, whether it is in your heart, or in a practical sense in your life. And in that pathway comes an authentic you that has greater joy than you've known before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.